In this video I'm going to show you how to replace a starter rope on a Briggs & Stratton mower. Now you may want to do this if the starter rope's already snapped or it looks very frayed and you're looking to replace it. What you'll need for this is obviously to remove the engine cover as we've done here, a sharp knife, a lighter or some matches and a small clamp. So before you start make sure you've got your clamp nice and nearby. Now Underneath this recoil cover here, as you can see, there's a, there's a screw and behind here there's a spring. Now this spring obviously is under massive tension and if you undo the screw you run the risk of the spring flying out and it could potentially hit you in the face which is obviously not what we want to happen. So the safe way that I'm going to show you how to replace the starter rope is the way I'm going to show you now. Is just to pull the cord out using your fingers. Just stop this recoil, turn it against the spring and hold it, and pull it out as far as you can get it, just holding it with your fingers just pop your clamp on, just like that, just pop it over the top it's quite difficult, it's obviously it's under a, quite a lot of tension, it's quite fiddly to do just pop it against there, just tighten it up all this does basically is stop the spool from turning so you can pull the, the cord out cut it off, make a new rope and basically start again so now that clamp's got hold of there, as you can see that's holding it and it's stopping it turning against the spring. You've got all this rope here which is obviously not under any tension anymore. Simply push this out, you can see you can get hold of the string now. Pull it towards you. Now the next thing to do, obviously is cut it off so you can pull the old rope out, push your old rope through and tie a knot. But it's quite difficult to thread through because what you need to do is thread through here you thread your new pull cord through and it needs to line up with this here, it's like a plastic you see there's like a little cut out there which it goes through now the easiest way I've found to do this is when you put your new cord through just get yourself a lighter or a match just make a flame obviously just burn the end of it, make it into a nice point and what happens then is when you go to thread it through it goes through much more easily so for the purpose of the video, obviously I'm not going to cut this one off because it's okay. You would thread your new one through, tie yourself a new knot, make sure it's nice and tight, pull it with some pliers, make sure it's real good and tight, and then obviously pull it back through and you have your new rope in. The next thing to do is obviously hold it very firmly with your fingers, remove your clamp, and then carefully just grab hold of it and just let your pull cord just gently go back in not too fast just let the spring take up that tension and let it pop it back in and that's the easiest and safest way to replace your pull cord so if you're looking to work from home and start your own small business I've already showed you that the profit potentials in this are very good indeed I've showed you the the small amount of tools that you will need to get started so thanks for watching please feel free to subscribe rate or leave a comment Check out the website at repairinglawnmowsforprofit.com. The DVD is on there, how to get started. And the DVD is also available on eBay under the title Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.